Whether it be finding other water sources to ensure an ample drinking water supply, or coming up with ways to clean out Brownsville's resacas, the Brownsville Public Utilities Board prides itself in finding solutions to whatever problem it may face. So when BPV was asked to come up with a way to reduce the odors from the South Wastewater Treatment Plant on East Avenue, we found the solution. With Lincoln Park relocating near the wastewater treatment plant, it was necessary to mitigate the odors so that families can enjoy the park while not having to think about the important work that goes on at the plant. BPUV saw great success when an odor control system was previously put into place at the Robindale Wastewater Treatment Plant. And BPV knew it would benefit the area here at the South Wastewater Treatment Plant as well. The new odor control system at the South Wastewater Treatment Plant is a major improvement for people who live in the area. Let's take a closer look at what was done and how it works. The gas primarily responsible for the foul odor in untreated wastewater is hydrogen sulfide. The turbulence created by the inflow of wastewater helps disperse that hydrogen sulfide and in turn the odor out into the open air. To mitigate this problem, the first major step was to place covers over wastewater tanks and channels where the wastewater is churning the most. The covers capture the gas before it is released into the open. Seeing how the south plant looked before these covers were installed, you can get an idea of how much less hydrogen sulfide is being released into the air. Approximately 200 covers were installed. That's a total of 7,000 square feet. While those covers prevent the gas from being released, that hydrogen sulfide still needs somewhere to go. That's when we allow Mother Nature to step in and do her job. About 400 linear feet of ductwork installed within the covered tanks and channels blows the gas through a biological tower. Inside the structure are microorganisms that love to feed on hydrogen sulfide. By the time those microorganisms do their job, 99% of the hydrogen sulfide has been removed, along with the odors associated with a wastewater treatment plant. This improvement project was a major investment into the community by BPB, with project costs reaching $2.1 million. The project was done with a great deal of help and support from the city of Brownsville, notably from the commissioner of this area, Ricardo Longoria Jr., who wanted to make sure that the needs of his constituents were being met. I've been living here in the neighborhood since 1973, uh, and the, the plant's been around since about 1955. Every time that you came to our neighborhood, uh, when you would drive down, you would always get the smell of raw sewage when it was coming in. So I've been in office now since 2003, that means about 13 years, and I got together with our CEO from PUB, Mr. John Bruziak, and a couple of members of the board since back then, and we've tried several things to be able to get, uh, to control the scent, to control the odor. And it wasn't until about two years ago that we tasked Ambiotech Engineering to come up with a plan and it's basically what you see behind you right now. And this is an odor control system that's been set in, and it's also at our Robindale plant here in Brownsville. This facility can work up to 12.7 million gallons a day. Right now it works at about 5.6, so we're not even halfway. So this is something that's been a long time coming. We were able to find, finally able to get together and finally come up with a scientific solution that would take care of the problem. And that's something that has been a long time coming to this neighborhood and both the city of Brownsville and Brownsville PUB are very proud of that we've finally been able to accomplish for the people and for the citizens of, the, of Brownsville. And now that the work is complete, Commissioner Longoria says that the difference is clear. Everybody stands to benefit, everybody stands to win. The city of Brownsville owns 81 acres across the street. As you look at the future of Brownsville, we're always ahead. We're always planning 10, 15, 20 years ahead. As you look into the future, you see a possibility of probably maybe the university expanding here into the neighborhood. And of course, by us having taken care of this problem right now, you start preparing for the future. You start making it a more viable community. You start making uh, more viable projects would be able to come into the area. So preparation is key. Having done this right now prepares for future commissions, future boards, to be able to give them that accessibility to our area, making it more viable. As a municipally owned utility, BPB always puts the needs of its customers first. 
and this project shows the importance of having a utility motivated toward meeting customer requests as well as one that's here to work alongside the city to accomplish that goal.